Good morning, Ripple Makers. It's actually raining a little bit here at the marina, but come rain or shine, <laughs> here I am. I just wanted to just touch base with you and give you a couple of recommendations to really get the most out of this week. So the first thing, and I mean, they're very, very simple things. They're things that you will already know, but sometimes we just need that little bit of a reminder, don't we? So the first thing is make sure you are drinking plenty of water as we go through this week. Make a conscious effort to make sure you are drinking plenty of water. I went and bought this kind of refillable um, glass. This is just a Costa coffee glass and I use this. I carry it around with me all the time. But the beautiful thing about this is because it is glass, I can use my essential oils in it. I don't know if you've found this, if you use essential oils, but uh, whenever I use a glass that has uh, plastic in it or like reusable plastic glasses, the oils just totally demolish the glass. <laughs> they make it just go really weird and matted. So, um, so I, I prefer to use glass and the oils that I usually have in here are lemon, peppermint, and Thieves is usually one that I use, um, which is a, a Young Living brand, but I also use doTERRA brands as well. So I just wanted to share with you some of the oils that I use, it's really starting to rain now. Um, some of the oils that I use that really get me into the perfect state for my journaling. Um, one of the things that I suggest you do is if you are here for business, you want to grow your business, Go and buy yourself just a normal pad. I've just bought myself a normal pad um, and I decorated the front. So as you can see, this is Sammy's 2021 Business Gratitude Journal. We give gratitude and we do gratitude practices for the things we want in life. But if you're going to grow your business and you want to create a bigger ripple of impact with your business, then we need to get grateful for the things that we have in our business already, or you're not gonna get more of those things. So I have specifically a business gratitude journal. What I also have is my Ripple Maker journal. Now these are um, <laughs> a bit wet now, <laughs> but as you can see, I mean, I've got the, the one drop um, affirmations on the back here. But this is a one drop journal specifically, and it's a 30 day journal. And inside it has lots of prompting questions. It's designed by our amazing uh, Nikki Piper, who is also one of our Ripple Makers Mastermind members. So if you wanna reach out to Nikki, if you want to design your own journal, reach out to Nikki, cause she's brilliant at that. Um, but she's designed this for us. So it's got lots of questions. It's got my meditations in it. It's got links to all kinds of things in here that will enable you to really get the most out of your journey. So this is my personal journal and I start a new one at Ripple Fest. So this is my brand new one, ready for Ripple Fest. They're just 20 pounds. So if you want one um, to go through, either go through Ripple Fest, I think they take two or three days to be delivered, um, but it lasts you 30 days. So it's always worth doing it. And I guess what you could do is uh, you know write your notes on something else and then transfer them into here when you get this but this is my personal one and this is my business one so i always always do my gratitude for my business every morning and the way that i start that is to say it is whatever the day is so it's saturday the 21st of august 2021 and i am so happy and grateful that today was the most intentional, creational and magnificent day. I was in my essence. I truly embodied love, gratitude, grace and giving, generosity. I totally embraced those things. And I was really 100% there present for my members. And the way I did that was like this. And so I get very intentional and I make my effectively to-do list through gratitude so that I imagine that I've already had my day as it is. You see how prepared I am to give you these gifts? I'm getting soaked. But you know what? How wonderful it is to be in warm rain. It's actually very warm. So the other way that I do this, I'm just gonna hide some of these things so they don't get too soaked. Right, let me put a bag over that. 
Um, so yeah, oils. Okay, so there are very different types of oils, very different brands of oils. My two favorite brands of oils are doTERRA and Young Living. I actually use both oils. In fact, I'm wearing my Young, uh, my doTERRA, nearly got that wrong then, uh, Angie. Angie Reed is um, a full advocate of doTERRA. We have members in this group who are doTERRA advocates. Angie's brand is Feet Love Oils, Flo, F-L-O. Um, it's actually Angie that got me into essential oils many years ago. So my favorite doTERRA oils, I mean, there are hundreds of oils, but here are my favorite doTERRA oils. And then I'll share what my favorite Young Living oils are as well. Um, and I always go and buy again at the beginning of Ripple Fest, I always go and buy myself a nice luxurious candle. So this is my candle. I've put my one drop movement sticker on there because it's one drop. I have actually lit this because I was doing my journaling before I came on here and then I thought maybe I should share this with you. So my favourite Young Living um, oils, I will share in a minute, these are my favourite doTERRA ones, peppermint. Peppermint is absolutely brilliant for focus, absolutely phenomenal for focus. If you find yourself getting brain fog or you, you just not feeling it maybe you're feeling tired we're doing a lot of things during ripple fest you're going to be doing lots of internal work during ripple fest this is um a very gentle ripple fest but nevertheless it's still going deep okay so peppermint is a brilliant oil for you to have as part of your toolkit whatever brand it is but this is a doTERRA one uh, peppermint absolutely love peppermint so i'm going to put a drop of peppermint into my candle because now that it's just that little bit kind of gooey, um, it's gonna take really nicely. So I'm gonna put a little drop of peppermint in there. I've, I've used pretty much all of my peppermint, my doTERRA peppermint. There we go. So uh, there's my peppermint. The other one, now this only happens at certain times of year, um, but it's called Litsia. Litsia is, probably my favorite of all doTERRA oils. It is kind of indigenous to doTERRA. You can't get it in any other brand. Litsia is gorgeous. It smells like um, lemon drops. And whenever I wear it, people always comment. They always say, what are you wearing? It's a beautiful creative oil. I use this oil when I want to get into my creativity, really want to step up my creativity. And I usually put just that little bit on my, just over my voice box, because I want to creatively communicate. I want to take out of my mind that which is so juicy and awesome for you. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a drop of doTERRA Litsia. Oh, two drops in there. Mm. Mm, I can smell that already. And the other one that I really love from doTERRA is grapefruit. So grapefruit is a very uplifting oil. And um, this oil, because you can see there's nutritional facts on there, it means it's safe for you to consume. So I quite often put my grapefruit oil in my water um, and I'll, I'll have that throughout the day. Can put a little drop under your tongue. There you go. Uh, but I'm gonna put a little drop into my candle as well. I like to mix, I like to mix my oils. So that would be like the perfect combination of creativity, productivity, and giving yourself that little juicy boost, having that grapefruit, uh, peppermint, and litsia. Now, my favorite young living oils, because you can't, there are oils that you can't get with doTERRA, and there are oils that you can't get with young living. So my favorite young living oils are, purification. Purification actually smells quite a bit like Litsia, which is probably why I love it so much, but the, 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 there's just this extra boost to it, which is very cleansing, very cleansing. So when I'm doing my journaling, uh, um, if I'm purging something, like if something's on my mind or I want to clear house, um, quite often with the um, meditations that we do throughout Ripple Fest, I always have purification um, going in my diffuser. So I, I, I bought a nice diffuser. I've got a Young Living diffuser, but you can get a, um, a diffuser from anywhere pretty much. Uh, but this, I tend to put 
Again, I put a little drop over my voice box, but I also put a little dab behind my ears and I put a drop in the palm of my hand. And just breathing in this beautiful essence of clearing and clarity just takes my vibe, takes my spirit up to just that next level. So I know I'm talking a bit woo-woo here and I never really was woo-woo, but this is just a practice that it just has totally evolved my journaling. It's totally evolved my manifestation, actually. It's like, there's no point asking for all the other things that you want if you haven't cleared out the shit that's already hanging around there. So I love doing that. And what I also do is the residue. So I take some good sniffs. The good thing also about the peppermint oil, by the way, is you don't always have to wear the peppermint. Like taking the lid off, and smelling it can be enough. Like if you need a little boost, <laughs> need a little fix. Peppermint is great for that. Uh, Greg had a bit of a headache the other day and I just took the lid off the peppermint and put it under his nose, wafted it under his nose and it just took it away. So, um, so yeah, once I've put it in my palms of my hand and I've given it a good old rub, I had a good old sniff. I like diffusing that. Um, I also then just put it on my hair because then the smell sticks around at that that bit longer it's actually really good for your hair <laughs> so purification as i say that's specific to young living um but beautiful very cleansing very clearing my other favorite um young living oil is abundance and i i always make sure that i've juiced myself up on abundance and i have abundance going i actually these oils that i'm just about to share with you i usually put them all in the diffuser at the same time. So I just put one drop, <laughs> remember? This is one drop movement, one drop, just one drop of oil. Um, so abundance, oh, I just love the smell of abundance. These are mixed oils already. They've already been mixed to um, to perfection before, before you get to them. So I'm just gonna put a drop of abundance in the palm of my hand. Again, you could put it in your candle. The beautiful thing about using oils in this way as well is it gets you to breathe. And when you're breathing, you can't be anything but present, right? Because you're just focusing on your breath. So just taking those at least three deep breaths. Do you know how beautiful it is to be alive, to be feeling this the raindrops just actually very cleansing, very cleansing. Couldn't be more perfect, thank you universe. Abundance, brilliant. Again, gonna put it in my hair. <laughs> I'm gonna smell gorgeous today. Uh, the other two, there's another uh, couple of oils that I love from Young Living. The other one is Magnify Your Purpose. This is just like manifestation on super speed. When I don't use this oil and I do my journaling and I do my affirmations and you know do my woo woo stuff if I don't use this I don't know what it is I don't know what it is but there's just something about the smell of this that elevates me beyond any manifestation that I've ever been and I manifest fast right but when I use this stuff you have to be careful what you think because it it happens <laughs> it happens very quickly so magnify your purpose Again, like you don't necessarily need to even diffuse them or put them on your skin. You can just smell them and it just elevates you. I always put this on before I go live at Ripple Fest, always. So I'm gonna put a little drop of this on the, my wrist, just one drop on my wrist. That's just gonna be like a little direct hit to my juju. <laughs> I just, oh, just the smell of it. I just, I feel joyful already. And the other one, the final one, because there are so many oils, but these are my favorites from both brands. My other favorite one is One Heart. Now we do actually have a one drop oil that is coming very soon. Our lovely Jane Butterworth is developing that for us right now. But One Heart, this has blue tansy in it. So it's actually blue when you put it in the palm of your hand. I don't know if you can see, it's got like a bluey green, but it's got this 
beautiful uplifting smell that <laughs> is just so gorgeous i'm gonna put a drop of that into my candle as well and that is now going to be i've now programmed my one drop candle for this week actually i didn't put my abundance in there did i, I put my purification in i'm gonna put a drop of abundance if i already did it hey ho we've got double abundance now and double magnify your purpose so this is my candle programmed for purpose programmed for creativity programmed so that every time i light this candle you are in this zone you are in my consciousness and you are in my intentions and my intentions for you this week and always is that you live a joyful, happy and abundant life. One that is easy and relaxed. One that comes to you in the easiest way. That life is easy. Life is joy. That creativity just pours into you. There is no such thing as a rush. Everything comes to you at the perfect time. That every speaker, every thought leader, every movement maker that you either interact with that you hear speaking this week that comes through your screen into your ears and into your heart directly creates a manifestation that leads you to exactly where you both want and deserve to be may you be one drop may you always be gracious grateful generous and love in every moment. Have a wonderful day. Be that ripple that you wish to see in the world. Be the brand you wish to see in the world. And just go all in this week. Go all in. Because you deserve it for you, if for no one else. And how can we truly lead if we're constantly losing? If we're losing our momentum, if we're losing our vibe, if we're losing our essence, if we're not being truly, being who we are. And instead we are being rushed, we are being get shit done, we are being, you know, do, 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 do. Well, that's like do, do. <laughs> There's only so much do, do that is meant to happen in any moment, in any hour, in any week, in any year. The more you are being through this process, the more you are being as you are building, the more you are going to create abundance, prolific influence in the right way, from the right place. And of course, that impact will always lead to income. If you're not impacting enough, you won't have enough income. If you're impacting more, your income will start to rise. So let's make that impact. Let's be that one drop for ourselves and each other this week. And I look forward to playing full out with you in whatever full out means to you. Full out without burnout. <laughs> Lots of love. Have a wonderful day. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next session. Mwah.